Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and welcome to another edition of Transformer Facts Friday. This is the second weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that are found going on in the world of Transformers. I'll let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel and of course my Instagram, which is toys underscore R Us. So this is part two. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get any images or more images, shall we say, of Earth Mode, Hound and Hatchet just yet. But obviously, rest assured, if they drop over the weekend, I'll do another updated video video anyhow showing you what I've found on them. In the meantime I've got another seven or eight things to go through with you today and what we're going to do is we're going to start off with this. Now this pretty much only really applies to people in the UK unless of course you want to travel over. Um, we've got another confirmed guest for TF Nation and their mini con and this is brilliant so for those of you who don't really know um, and again, I'm quite new to all this as well. I do completely admit it. But in the UK, the only real, I suppose, Transformers convention we had was TF Nation. Um, now, we actually had a TF Con last year, which was the first one. And TF Nation are actually doing a mini con. So already that's another couple of conventions that we've got going on in the UK, which is brilliant because obviously this is an ever expanding massive massive franchise and more and more people are jumping on board so it's absolutely brilliant so we've got john paul bove who's agreed or yeah well he's obviously agreed to go he's officially announced that he's going to be at the mini con and he's best known to transformer fans as a regular colorist on the regeneration one and drift empire of stone so again i'll keep people updated with that with regards to what's happening in the uk and of course everywhere else at the same time Moving on, this is again just another amazing Matrix Workshop upgrade kit. Now, obviously, they did this for the standard Laser Optimus Prime. They've also done the same kit for Velocitron Scourge, or as they're calling him, Nemesis Prime. You can see along the bottom they've called it Nemesis Prime, but it is, of course, Velocitron Scourge. And it is Matrix Workshop M77B. Uh, that I mean, I've just got to look at that again. That is stunning how they've managed to get the whole trailer and then attach it and make it look like an actual base. I mean, that's exactly what it looks like. It looks more like a base. I did say that when I did the review on it, I did think it was just, you know, it was just too flimsy, not enough there. There's the sword. There's all the attachments. And that, of course, is the attachments there and how you can attach everything to the figure. But there you go. If you're after this particular upgrade kit, M77B from Matrix Workshops. Now, we had a quick look at Nursey last night. But again, I found some other images of Snow Ninja, which is, again, this is Dr. Wu. And this is their take. Well, they used, obviously, the original RC mould. And they just went mental and did loads and loads of redecos of it. But we've got some more great in-hand images or some better images, shall we say. Appreciate. I've got a horrible glare there. Uh, if you want to check out any of these images, check out tformers.com. They've got loads of them. And, of course, on the Dr. Wu website and social media themselves. Weibo's great, to be fair. Go to their Weibo page. You'll get all these lovely, lovely images for yourselves if you want to use any. And there, of course, is the alternate mode. Just again, a brilliant use and a brilliant use of a redeco of that particular colour mould. Coming up again, there you go. Here's another redeco, shall we say, of a mould that we know. And it's really funny because Iron Factory just recently released their version of Hopper. Hopper, not Hopper. Hopper, so Magic Square went and did another version of their Hopper, only this time it's the toy accurate version or the toy colour one. That's what they're saying. So it's Magic Square Toys. It is MSB16A. And this is, of course, their take on Huffer, but it's toy colour this time. So there is the alternate mode. There's the robot mode. He looks really good, to be fair. He does look really good. And I think everybody's just going to take advantage of this now. I think everybody's going to be doing standard figures, toy colour figures, comic book figures, all the redecos, um, because people are going to buy them. Uh, people do buy them. Um, and again, you can't fault companies for doing it because it makes them money and it keeps them in business and it keeps them churning out figures for us to buy. But this is, of course, their take on Huffer, which was already out, already being released. And this is the toy colour, so the G1 toy colour version. And again, it looks great. I don't know what it is with Huffer. I just, I think Huffer's fantastic. Funnily enough as well, whilst I was on their Weibo page, I took them images from their Weibo page and I don't remember seeing much on this. Um, I presume it's out, but if it's not, apologies. This is Magic Square B35A Blues Jazz, or their take on jazz, shall we say. I found some amazing images of this as well. So I thought I'd share these with you because... It's exactly what this is for. It's news and updates and stuff. I know they, that they were doing some, but um, I haven't seen these images of Magic Square Jazz yet, I believe. So this is, as I say, 
all the attachments on it with the speakers. You've got the launcher on the back. You've got the standard alternate mode and from both sides. And of course, we've got the bits where we can attach the speakers. It just looks so good. That's just, of course, exactly from the cartoon, isn't it? It looks so, so good with the speakers on the back. And again, if you want to check these out, check out Magic Square's Weibo account. It's so simple to get to. In fact, if you're unsure... I just, or well, this is literally exactly what I did. If you're unaware, I just typed into whatever search engine and I just typed in Magic Square Toys Weibo and then it even translates it for you. So you can see exactly where I took it from. So there's Magic Square's Weibo. And if I scroll through, as you'll see, there's the Huffer version I've just shown you and there's Jazz right underneath it. So Weibo, it's obviously a new social media platform and I admit I'm not that far that up on it, but I'll just keep taking the images off there and sharing them with you anyway. Right, without saying too much again, and hopefully not giving, if you, maybe you've seen this, maybe you know the spoilers, I don't want to spoil it for people who don't want to see it, there is yet another trailer for Earthspark on, uh, the, I'll say, on the forums, on social media platforms, and it's basically all about Megatron in this particular, I've just watched the clip, it is brilliant, it is so, so good, um, and I don't want to say any more, because if people don't know what the twist is, it's it'll just give away too much if i tell you what it is but watch that it's it's a brilliant trailer it's only 30 second trailer it's on their twitter it's on instagram and it's on their facebook pages so that's paramount plus nickelodeon and of course transformers it's a great there's so many trailers now i'm actually really excited to watch this and moving on this again is something that looks spectacular so let me make sure i get this right as well so this is a new i think it's a relatively new third party company transform and roll out because this is only number two of their products so it's got to be quite new transform and roll out o2 commander of stars right so this is their take their unofficial remake of the galaxy force convoy and it's coming out new it's a totally new version it's 28 centimeters so 11 inches tall in the combined robot mode and it's got five modes 140 points of articulation 20 gears rubber tires lights and more and it'll be shipping sometime in october here is some of the stats on it before we see some pictures so we've obviously got alternate mode alternate sort of attack mode um, there's some of the stats I was reading out there. So yeah, 54 centimetres wing width, 36 centimetre vehicle length, um, 142 movable joints, including 20 sets of POM gears, 14 sets of alloy gears. I'm just going to show you some images of this because it is stunning. There is robot mode. There's like a base attack mode, military mode, they're calling it. There you can see along the top, it's saying that the wingspan is 54 centimetres, which is just shy of two foot. It's crazy. It's huge. Um, there it is with pretty much all the attachments on it. I've got these images off tformers.com, by the way, if you want to go check out them out yourself. Um, this looks stunning. So, so good. So transforming rollout, zero two, their take on Galaxy Convoy. And it's called Commander of the Stars. Just got a few more images of this amazing looking figure. Again, it's one of the Optimus Primes or the Convoys that I pretty much missed. I pretty much missed all of the Unicorn not Unicron, Unicron Trilogy Primes. I've got the Siege version, but I need to open and have a good look at it. But there you go. I think it looks stunning. Let me know what you think in the comments. It looks a great, great version of this particular figure. There it is with the wings out as well in the alternate mode. And another take of it there from that angle. Again, I don't, I don't know what more, more to say about this. It just looks really, really good. That's pretty much going to round up this second part. With regards to the videos myself, um this guy's tonight shockwaves tonight with an abundance of other shockwave comparisons and stuff that we've got g axis should be done for saturday as well as um i'm going live as well of course on saturday i just want to quickly want to show you that if you wanted to know more about that convoy you can pause or i say screenshot this yourself and have a read of it or go to t formers and have a look at it it looks stunning um yeah again i've got the live on saturday can't wait to do that that's going to be fun um, I went to go for a couple of hours last time. I can't see any reason why I won't go much longer if my voice lasts out. And as I've just said, anything else happening over, if anything else drops over the internet that's video worthy, I'll let you know. Also, we've got this additional bit on here, which I think people know about. I'm sure quite a people know, a lot of people know about this at the moment. When I do the G Axis full review, there is this part here. I've just took it off that you can take off this which is the sensor you can attach it to weapons you can give yourself a whole new different mold as well to be on it well version of displaying him because you can fold that down i'll be showing this all in great detail in the review hopefully get it done for saturday and 
look forward to speaking and chatting to most of you this Saturday as well. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Take care.